Okay, I thought I'd start off with one of my more recent studies. This is a study um, looking at the Akron Early College and the initial problem that uh, Katie Cerrone brought to me and to John Nicholas, the three of us are working on this Q study, um, was this idea of addressing the drop-off after, I think it's the third year, <clears throat> so juniors, out of the Akron Early College. Um, it happens that Katie's dissertation was on the Akron Early College, but it was very qualitative. <clears throat> and so here is the initial email that had some of the statements that basically she pulled out of her qualitative dissertation. So I feel like a high school student. I feel like a college student. Those were the two I get, gave you an example of earlier. Right? I talk with my teachers when I have trouble understanding something in class. And it goes on and on and on. <clears throat> well, not on and on. but <clears throat> So there are her original statements. And then Yvonne, who works at the Akron Early College, <clears throat> um, added some other statements that they had spoken about and that she is... Um, that have come out of conversations with Akron Early College kids. And so Katie, John, and I met, literally met in a conference room, and we went through all of these statements. We post, we put them all into a spreadsheet, not unlike the one I sent you. And we went through and we categorized them um, <clears throat> into specific categories. Um, if I remember right, one of it was cognitive, one was, um, oh, I don't even remember. But we, we broke it up into categories that had to do with the theme analysis that Katie had done in her dissertation. And we tried to balance it as much as possible. But just like Steve Brown, oh, there it is, categories are motivation, support, engagement, academic identity, and learning. <clears throat> um, and... Then we compiled them and put them in this list. One of the things, very much like uh, what Steve Brown mentioned, right? the categories were not completely equal, but they were pretty close. And we knew that we had, I think we had a minimum of five statements in each category. I think the most we had was 12. Um, <clears throat> and here we have some of our statements I don't think we did well. I don't think we grouped them based on um, the categories. Usually what I do in something like this is I go through and I literally just highlight. right, And then I just, I, I just put them in alphabetical order. That seems to be a good way of randomizing them so that they're not um, necessarily right in an order that, that meets these categories. Because we don't want students to kind of find some kind of theme. Um, you notice that also the word I is used a lot or me or my learning <clears throat> um, and that's just to help keep the students focused on the idea that this is a self-reflective kind of thing so this is about them and their learning so hopefully that's a little at least a little helpful in selecting your Q sample. I'll, I'll do a couple more here in just a second. 